Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here. I've had a lot of people ask me to explain my position on immigration and why people who support any kind of government controlled immigration or government borders at all really are socialists. And it's pretty simple because as an individual human being, you have freedom of movement. The only restriction to the exercise of your rights is the private property of another person, like the right to swing my fist ends where your nose begins. Well, your right to freedom of movement ends where my property begins. So the only legitimate borders are private property borders. This isn't really so much about open borders or closed borders because that should be up to the property owner. Like here on my land, I should get to decide who gets to come and visit me here, not uh, you know, have someone put up a border or uh, any kind of forceful interference with anybody being able to come over here. So in order to have government borders, you have to have this imaginary line drawn on a map that's based on a government claiming a territorial monopoly on the initiation of force. That's what really defines a government in the first place. And it's based on a kind of collective property, right? That like the property within the borders belongs to the people as a whole, which really means, you know, the people who control the government, of course, and which is ultimately its corporate sponsors, never the people, as we know here in the United States, where elections have very little sway on government policy and public opinion doesn't really change what happens in Washington, D.C. So, yeah, given that democracy is really just an excuse for the super class to do what they were going to do to rip the rest of us off anyway, it makes sense, right? And this whole idea of a uh, uh, government controlling freedom of movement is really, first of all, it's just a silly, feudal, statist fantasy. Because there's not a single wall you could build tall enough, big enough, wide enough, whatever, that can't be tunneled under, climbed or flown over or gone around. It, it, this idea that a government can put up an impervious border and really control who comes in is ridiculous. And it's funny, you hear conservatives or people who are pro-gun, like myself, or pro-gun rights at least, to say that like, you know, hey, if, if government outlaws guns only outlaws will have guns. Well, gee, somehow magically government is going to be able to enforce immigration policy, but they're not going to be able to enforce gun control. Like, I, you know, I, I say, no, it can't enforce either. And this idea should apply to this idea of immigration as well to this issue and saying, well, look, government can't really do anything effectively. There's no way that it can control freedom of movement. It could actually put up a, an effective barrier that's not going to be porous or defeatable one way or another and, and keep people from moving across that. First of all, all that's doing, that's an interference with the free trade. That's interference with capitalism to say, no, you can't have freedom of association. You can't trade across this imaginary line. And now only outlaws are going to come across these government borders. But if you want government borders enforced, you're a socialist because you're asking for security to be socialized. You want your private property protected. Either that or you want some socialist collective concept of property of a country or a state or whatever it is to be protected. And you want that service to be socialized that is paid for by taxes and collectivized in a government monopoly where you have no say over how that money is spent except through your elected representatives, is, which as we know is pretty silly mechanism of accountability compared to the accountability of the free market. So this really does come down to an ethical issue. Do you believe in freedom of movement or not? Do you believe in human freedom or not? Do you believe in private property? Do you believe in free markets? Do you believe in voluntary peaceful cooperation? Or do you believe in the territorial monopoly of government? Do you believe in this violent central authority getting to decide who comes in and out? So if you have an opinion on this, please let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of uh, the policy right now in this country, what Donald Trump is doing and whether or not it's going to have any effect. Because honestly, I think I'll, as a whole, th this immigration thing is is really a distraction from the, the, the much more vicious things of government that this is, uh, th that this makes possible, that this, you know, the, the collectivism that this enforces makes possible. You know, you're an American, not a human being, you're an American. And that kind of distracts us from the ripoff of taxation, of the central banking system, of the military industrial complex, which Donald Trump is looking to expand the spending of. And if we were talking about that in realistic defense policy, if it was actually defense policy, of course, having a military makes us less safe and we'd be better off without it. But seeing that more money is being spent on all these more destructive policies of government while we're being distracted and divided by issues like immigration seems like uh, eh, just another way we're being taken advantage of. Mwah. Peace and love from Freedom Ranch. Thank you.